Welcome back to another Sumi Shays video, guys, with me on a beautiful morning. Hashtag Team All Blade, hashtag No Blade Left Behind, guys. Welcome to another beautiful Sumi Shays video with me. I am so excited to have you guys here. Thank you so much for clicking into my video and for joining me, guys. Check it out. Who is this stubble Sui Shaves imposter? You guys see this? I know I couldn't I couldn't handle it anymore. Wife was like, get in there, take it off. So we, we're at the stubble, guys. I like this look. I like this look, but we're gonna don't worry. We're gonna have it come back. We're gonna get the beard to come back. Don't you guys worry. But while we're waiting, I was like, I gotta get on channel and I've gotta show you guys something that just came in. My sister-in-law, for all you guys that have been following me on Facebook. Made sure to go out of her way and print me a 3D printed, uh, they call this the Triceratops on Things Universe, guys. A gem razor um, that comes straight out of a printer. How freaking cool is this? How modern age, How I don't know how much more advanced we get than taking uh, an inanimate, like, you know, plastic material and turning it into shavery, guys. Absolutely fan, fantastic, phenomenal, Skittles only, marshmallows out of the bowl kind of situation here, guys. Look at this! Freaking Twizzler-tastic, guys. Break me off a piece and send it my way! I'm so excited. It's 10 grams of glory. It is very smooth, and I did use it yesterday as, on a, as a body shaver, just to give it a little bit of a test, guys. And from what I found is it's extraordinarily smooth, but fairly mild. So today I'm gonna to be shimming it, and you guys can see here, look what it does to the shim blade. You guys see that bend to the shim blade? But what ends up happening is that shim blade actually helps create a little bit more rigidity, creates a little more torque, and it lifts this front blade up just a hair, just a little bit of on the front blade, just lifts it up ever so slightly. I know on the camera, it kind of looks like there's a there's no bend, guys. It's just the lighting. I'm having a heck of a time getting this lighting to make it look, you know, to get that, it's just the lighting on this, guys, because there's so much blade exposure. But what you're guys seeing is a very efficient, nice, comfortable shaver that has some blade fill to it, but is very BBS capable. I'm telling you that much. Very BBS capable. And again, Triceratops, guys, on Things Universe. And it's an SLA printed razor. And we're going to be rocking it today on the dome, guys. How exciting is this? Get your stuff. Come on in, we don't have time to waste. I'm just absolutely excited and ecstatic to be showing this. And kind of, out of just generosity, out of just, I'm really appreciative of my sister-in-law going out of her way, doing this for me. And what she did is she said, I just wanted to contribute to the channel, to the new ongoing, you know, creation of Subi Shaves. And I thought that was amazing. So many of you guys, you know, tune in on the daily. You're here, you're providing positivity, energy, and enthusiasm. And I just love that I got that from my family as well. I thought it was really nice. It was like one of the first times one of my family members said, whoa, whoa, how can I help? I thought that was awesome. So seriously, to my sister-in-law, I just wanted to say out loud, in public, thank you so much. And I'm so excited to be showing this on channel. If you guys haven't been over to Things Universe, go check it out. There's tons of shavery stuff and you can print it for basically free. The files are all free, just whatever it costs to get it printed. And keep in mind, there's different variations and there's different qualities of these um, files that are rendering the items. So just be really careful, go through, there's reviews, things like that. Really cool, guys. Absolutely awesome. And I really think that this is where plastic should go, right? If we're going to use plastic. It should be to innovate and renovate, you know, renovate the kind of the art. I think it's awesome, guys. Yes. All right. We're going to be using this. We're going to be going wild. We're going A&E, Grecian horse. You know what it is. It's an homage to Pegasus, guys. It's bomb. It's fire. It's killer. It's dark. It smells very masculine. You know that department store, like, oh, so good, guys. Where you're walking in, you're like, I can't afford that. I'm a fraghead wannabe. I want to smell that. I'm going to spray it all over me. and might leave, leave the department store after I use the sample. That's kind of what this reminds me of, guys. Like something very expensive you want to sample and run away. This is really, really nice from A&E. One, one of my scents from him that I just, I keep reaching for, I really appreciate. It's very, very masculine. That's all I'm going to say. And it's one the wife really likes, guys. I really like it, too. I think it's a fun date night scent. We're going to be going on top of that with Signature by a &E. I love this one as well. Bourbon and vanilla. And I think it's a good contrast. It's not exact, guys. It really is not. And it doesn't, like, overwhelm the Grecian horse. I like how it pairs. And we're going to go with that EDP. Boom! Killing it from A&E, guys. Boom! We're going for an A&E shave today with Signature on top as an EDP. Let's give it a spray out and see how it feels. Oh, yeah. Today's going to be good. This solid, guys. Today's going to be awesome. We've got Grecian horse already. Grecian horse, excuse me. <laughs> Grecian what? What was that? We got it all lathered up, guys. I don't want to waste your time making soap, but we can sure waste your time playing with it, right? 
We can sure waste some time playing with it, guys. What do you think? Is that wag? A and E, man. It's just a, it's a, it's a brand you can trust, and it is a soap that honestly takes no skill to use, right? If I can do this, anybody can do it. Look at this, guys. Yeah, happy soap. It la it wags, guys. It wags. If it hangs low and you can tie it in a bow, you've done something right. I can tell you that. What you don't want to see is like really stiff peaks. You don't want to see lather that stands up by itself. But if it'll do this, oh. Give it a smell, give it a breathe. I know we don't brag about lather because we are not the best here, guys. I'm telling you, there's people out there much, much more competent than me, but I love this stuff, man. I just think it's awesome. What a cool, cool shave today. We gotta do it right, and we're gonna be using that Maritime, you guys know how it is, the Maritime Red on, on um, Natural. It is a badger brush, and it's from Brennan. I, guys, I just love his work. And I keep using this brush. My wife was like, why do you own so many brushes when you use five? Why do you use what you'll use five? I love this brush from Brennan. It's one of my faves. It just produces such a soft feel on the skin and I love it. Guys, let's go get this thing loaded up really quick. I don't want to waste too much time today and see how it shaves. It is guys, straight from Things Universe on the Subi Hat Cam Angle. We've got the Triceratops razor, freshly printed guys. Look at how cool this thing is. Freaking awesome, guys. 10 grams in all of its glory. It's got some really nice detailing on the knurling on the handle, guys. What a really nifty, fun little um, shaver right here, right? It's one of those razors that gets posted and um, it gets uploaded right to Things Universe from another user, guys. And then you can just take that file and have it printed and voila, you got yourself a 3D printed razor. This, again, came from my sister-in-law and I'm just so excited to be sharing it with everybody here. What an opportunity, what a cool opportunity here, guys. And I'm just, honest. I feel so loved and so appreciated and so inspired, right? That we're getting to use something that was created with nothing but love, guys. What a cool, cool razor. Let me show you how this thing works. It is a two-piece razor. Again, this is designed um, for an SLA printer. You can see it's got the little knurling, and, or, uh, knurling on the handle and threading on this uh, portion right here that goes up into the handle, or into the head, excuse me. And the head also has little threads in there. How long those threads will last with it being um, SLA printed, I don't know, but it's really cool. I love that it comes together as one piece, and I love that it breaks down into two pieces. I think that's really cool. You can see it's pretty basic, guys. It's a it's very basic, and it, it does it is designed for a gem razor. And you can see here it does have flow through channel areas so that the stubble doesn't have any blockage. Really cool, guys. Really cool. How this is going to work today is so we're going to grab ourselves a fresh minty gem blade. Keep in mind, these are gem blades. These are not paint scraper blades. These are designed for shaving, not for home, um, you know, DIY things. <laughs> Don't let your wife use these for DIY things. These are designed for shaving. They have a three bevel, kind of a triangle on the bevel, guys, that makes it designed for shaving stubble. Very, very nice. These are the Persona, and they are the PTFE coated blades, guys. And how this razor works, usually, is you take the razor and you slide it in like this, and the um, actual author of the file says to put it in halfway and then screw the handle in halfway and then kind of adjust from there, get it all situated and then um, kind of manipulate the blade from there. It does have a little shelf. I'm going to show you guys. It has a little shelf. You can see where the blade's supposed to sit in um, to protect your, uh, it has these corner protectors right here and right here so that you know, the blade edge doesn't catch your cheek. Very cool. I love that it has the little blade protectors on there, guys. Um, you do have to kind of, uh, you know, finesse it and then kind of screw it together from there. I'm going to show you guys how that looks. You twist the handle as you kind of adjust it. It is not super fiddly, but you definitely take, you know, one or two attempts to get it perfectly lined up in those little slots. And there you guys go. You see that there's the little slot right here on this corner. You can actually see the gap in between the slot and the, the corner protector. Same goes here. And that's how you know it's all lined up and situated. Um, you can see here, it's got a decent amount of gap here, guys, with a decent amount of exposure, right? Pretty much a decent amount of exposure. How, what this kind of reminds me of is like an open comb variation of a um, uh, one blade, right? It kind of reminds me of this razor. If you look at the, the one blade razor, keep in mind, very, very expensive on my right. If you look at them side by side, it almost looks very similar, right? The way the bar comes around, the way it holds in place, the way that the, even the corner protector works, very similar to the one blade razor. But the difference here is this razor, you can print for 
basically almost nothing, right? Almost nothing, and it's very light and very nimble. Now, for me, guys, the Gem Razor is a very good shaver, but what I like to do is after I get it all situated is I come in and I grab my shin blade. There's no edge on this blade. It's not sharp whatsoever. I've, I've stoned off the edge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shim this uh, 3D printed razor, guys. I'm just going to take that blade and stick it underneath. I do this with my um, one blade as well because I like a really stiff blade with a little bit more gap. And I'm finding this razor, guys. I did do a little bit of um, experimentation yesterday. And what I found is the razor was fairly mild. It was, a, it was an effective, efficient shave. But it was a little mild for my taste, guys, with these gem blades. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just stick my um, shim blade underneath, get it all situated, make sure everything looks nice and tight, and go from there. Do you, and keep in mind, you guys do not have to do this. If you grab the file and you print it, and you're shaving with it, and you're just like, oh, I, I wish it was a little bit more efficient. This is how I made it a little bit more efficient for me, guys. I'm gonna show you guys how this looks. Like I said, it, you have to kind of um, unscrew the handle, get it all situated in. There we go. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure everything was lined up. I just grabbed my shim blade and put it in the back there. Very nice, easy way to, you know, add a little bit more effectiveness to this razor. And I really like how it shaves like this, guys. I really like it. I just add, like I said, I added that little bit of a shim back there to give it a little bit more, um, a little more bite, a little bit more effectiveness while shaving. It's a very easy razor to manipulate. Like I said, you just put that blade back there, screw it together, and you're ready to go. Let's go see how this does, all 10 grams of its glory on this skin. Boom, guys, welcome back. Hope that's entertaining, hope that's exciting, and I hope that gives you guys a moment where you can reach out and almost touch this really cool little gem shaving razor, guys. I am just so excited to use this. Like I said, it reminds you a ton of the one blade just without the pivot, and the way it functions and fills, it almost feels like an open comb gem. And as you guys can't see this, you can't see this, you're like, whoa, what happened? Why didn't we see you lather? I did some research, guys. I went back, I've been watching my videos, and I'm like, I spend typically seven to nine minutes of your guys' time wiping soap on my head. So I was like, why not save the channel nine minutes of their time, put it on my head for you guys prior to shaving. So guys, if you like that idea, let me know in the comments below. This is just something I'm trying to do to see if um, we can get a little bit more traction. I'm trying to get us up to that 700 marker, guys. 700 subs. Can you believe that? I can't believe it still to this day, guys. I am blown away. As awesome as this shaves, that's as I, I feel the same way about the 700 subs, because I am just blown away by the kindness and the support of the community. It's been such a cool experience. We've got like almost 250 videos now or something. Wild amount of videos. And we just have more and more stuff coming and content on its way. I am so excited, guys. And like you can see, this is shaving phenomenally. And that rhymed, right? That was a total Dr. Seuss moment there. We're using a fresh gem PTFE Persona blade, guys. And I'm doing that on purpose because I want you guys to see kind of how this razor shaves right out of the box, right? Keep in mind with me, gem blades tend to smooth out, guys. They actually get better on the second and third shave. But I want you guys to see how it shaves day one. If you were to um, print one and have it, you know, just grab a blade and go. Some guys will strop these blades. For me, I don't. I used to put them through cardboard and through um, styrofoam. It was kind of a trick I did to smooth them out a little bit. But I'm finding with razors like this, you don't really have to do that. There's plenty of smoothness because it's so light. You can kind of modulate, uh, you know, modulate the amount of friction and pressure you're getting um, easily, which is putting down a little bit more pressure. I really don't want to push too much, guys, honestly, because of how good it shades by itself. You guys, can you see this? Are you watching this nonsense, guys? Look at this. To my sister-in-law, holy goodness gracious, thank you so much. I absolutely love this little razor. And Shim, guys, is it's the bee's knees. It really is the bee's knees, guys. We're rocking like, I don't know, 30 hours right now, 30 hours of the stubble nonsense. And I want to show you guys, we're not getting any blade movement, any kind of anything like that. I was always worried when you saw things universe, how well, you know, that, that file really um, holds everything together and how good the razor will actually shave, guys. And because you're kind of trusting somebody else's right design. 
But I, you know, honestly, guys, for being something that never made it to market because it's just a, 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 a hobbyist, you know, file. Guys, look at this. Look at this. This right here is just a hobbyist is passion. And I, I can feel it. You can feel the passion in it, guys. Really can feel the passion and skill that goes into the idea, the conceptual conceptualization of making this, right? It's almost like a prototype, but it's not. It's actually much smoother than any of the prototypes I um, played around with because you can see that it's pretty polished. It's actually fairly well polished, guys. And one of the things that the um, really impressed me as I've been playing around with this, guys, is there's no sharp edges. I actually texted my sister-in-law and I said, I don't understand how you made this so smooth. There's not a sharp edge. No corners have any edges to them. Guys, honestly, it came out so nicely. It's one of those ones I am really impressed. You can tell there is not a whole lot of feedback and a whole lot of noise. There's not a lot of audible noise to this at all. Very smooth, very comfortable, very easy shaver. Oh, so good. Exactly what I needed today, guys. Exactly what I needed. Like I said, I am shimming it just a titch, just to give it a little bit more rigidity on the blade and also give it a little bit more efficiency. I did that because yesterday I ended up doing probably an extra pass that I think I could get away with not doing if it was shimmed. It is a fairly mild razor, guys. This Triceratops Gem SLA printed razor. Very, very mild but efficient. I think the offset's very nice. Considering that there's the thing from PAA, right? And you guys know, right? You know, I'm now one of the affiliates over there. So I, it's a product and a, and a company I really like. But the um, Starling razor from them, guys, was a gem razor I don't like. I actually did not like that one. Um, it had sharp corners. At least the version I played around with had sharp corners. I found it extraordinarily uh, aggressive and not as smooth as something like this. I feel like these really thick and um, sturdy blades, guys, do really well, right? Look at this. I think they do really well with light razors. I think that's why I love the featherweight. I think that's why I love the Damascan. They're a lighter razor, and I feel like the stiff blade and a light razor goes a long way to smoothness. Um, that's why I think that the Vector Titanium razor is so interesting, guys, because, again, it's a lightweight razor with a stiff blade that is extraordinarily efficient, and I think that is kind of the formula for a smooth shave with some of these razors. Now, when you look at like the Starling, it was aluminum, which also, I just, I'm a kind of an aluminum hater, I won't lie to you guys. I do, usually do not love aluminum. Maxwell June, there's a few razors out there that I really do like that are aluminum. Even Henson's aluminum is pretty good. But like, I don't know, there's some that just, I don't like the feel of it on the skin, guys. It's a, it's a personal thing. But this, since it's plastic, I don't know, I actually like the plastic more than aluminum. Call me, call me crazy. I really do. And I feel like it's, look at this, guys. You can just see. I went from stubbly and like, you know, kind of yeah, kind of gritty, kind of Velcro fill to just absolutely smooth. Again, I am not really doing any pressure, guys, at all. It does remind me a little bit of the PAA Monster Series, right, where you, you learn to kind of push a little bit, but not too much. You kind of, you, you get the feel for it. It's the only way I can put it, guys. And I know on um, Doug's webpage for the Monster, he even mentions it's like something you have to learn. It's like it takes like a pass or two to really figure out how much pressure you need to put down on certain spots to get at BBS. But once you have that mastered, guys, wow. You saw this, right? We did this. Keep in mind, we just printed it, guys. She printed it for me, and we're going to town. Oh, so nice. Very smooth. Um, I would say that this razor operates really well at several angles, guys. What really shocks me is, like, I can shave at a steep angle or a really, really close angle, a really shallow angle, and still get really smooth results. It's very forgiving. Honestly, for a razor that is like not in the premium space I, or like even a retail space, right? It's really nice. A really good shaver, guys. Really nice shaver. And a gem blade at that, guys. And a gem blade at that, which I, I tend to really be hit or miss on gem razors, guys. Honestly. Um, some I just, I have loved and some I have not, right? The Micromatic of old, guys. That, will, that right there, the Fire Breathing Dragon, right? It's a razor I love and I hate at the same time, right? This one really reminds me of, it's almost like, I'm telling you, it's like the one blade. It's like an open comb one blade. It's exactly how it feels. It is mild yet efficient. It is comfortable. It is close. And guys, that's it. We have to do a little cleanup on the around the ears because it does have a bigger head profile. 
But wow, talk about marshmallows only, leprechaun beating, kind of, you know, under the rainbow. Wow, guys, pot of gold shaver right there. Pot of gold. And keep in mind, you can keep your gold because it comes out of a printer. You can keep all your gold. Oh, nothing makes us happier, guys. Nothing makes us happier than being able to recommend a razor, right? Recommend a razor, recommend something that is available worldwide, right? You can just, anybody can get this. Anybody can print it. And anybody can shave with it, right? It's an awesome little shaver. I'm telling you guys, awesome little shaver and effective as it comes. Keep in mind, again, guys, we did shim this to get a little bit more bite out of it. But that was a two-pass, right? Basically a two-pass. We're doing a little cleanup here because I was an idiot and I did not do it around my ears well enough. It does have a bigger head cap. This is just something I do even with my um, one blade usually. I have to go in and kind of do a little cleanup there. Guys, look at this. Look. <laughs> Woo, that's right rocking it guys i know some people reached out and said subi you're using the tatara guy what are you doing you get charcoal goods man you're gonna be broke don't worry guys we got you covered with this budget friendly forward razor right here guys awesome little shaver i love it's clear keep in mind if you're doing the sli printing i think you can actually modular change the colors right i think i've seen gray i've seen blue a couple guys um, actually offer like tint, um, tinting processes for that process. So you can actually get some really wild colors if you want them. What a cool, I'm, I'm, I'm digging the clear. I won't lie to you guys. I dig, I love clear razors. It's like one of the things I absolutely am just, I'm, it's a weird thing that I love guys. Weird thing. I love clear razors. The Fasan fake light razor guys. I didn't even care. It's like, if it's terrible, I don't care. It's clear. I love clear. I think it's awesome. Oh man, this is feeling gravy, gravy guys. We've got that signature blast on lock, guys. On lock, yeah! Guys, this has been so much fun. I don't even care. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I really know I did. It was so much fun. Again, huge shout out to my sister. What a cool little, what a cool little thing, right? What a fun little razor. And if you're like traveling and you just want to have a razor you can just throw in your bag and right here and if it gets broken, you print another one, guys. Really awesome. So much fun. And I just huge shout out to the author as well that put this up. I think it's all, it's a fantastic razor. The Triceratops, the 3D printed, SLA printed Triceratops, guys. What a really cool razor. And we did it fast. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it, what you thought of me pre-lathering, right? And what you guys thought of today's shave. I will see you in the next Subi Shaves video, guys. We got fun stuff coming, I promise. I'll see you then. Subi, out.